What is going on everyone? My name is Toon Mike and today we're going to be playing Smashing 4. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video of Smashing 4. Like always, I have to say, you guys' support is just incredible. Thank you so much for your continued support, guys. Like, seriously, you guys motivate me to do this every day. So thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Keep doing what you're doing because you guys are the greatest. Today we're going to be playing the ladder and I decided to put in the wizard instead of the barbarian. Now, if you've seen uh, my videos like a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago or something like that, the wizard was dominating like my, my deck. The wizard was insane. So I'm going to try to use the wizard since he's maxed out already. I maxed him out. Um, so we're going to try to use him. And um, let's see if we can you know, create some chaos with the wizard because the wizard splash damage is just incredibly... Incredibly um dangerous, really. Um Okay, so he just double hit the zombie. That's fine. I, I have a chance to poison here, but I think it's best to just poison the um the bomber and hit it towards the Naga, I guess. We actually double hit the Actually we did not double hit, we actually triple hit the bomber with the with the zombie. Which is not bad, it was pretty good. Uh Okay, so we're just gonna leave the bomber alone. The bomber is about to die. He won't die this turn, but you know, like I I'm not gonna touch him so that we don't let the bomb out too soon. We just killed off the, the warrior thanks to the wizard. As you can see, the wizard is just is strong. I mean, yes, it was it, it was with the help of the striker's ability, but he is strong, man. He is strong. Um, how much health does the bomber have? The bomber will die next turn no matter what, so we'll just deal damage to to the mice bandit. Let's see if we can one sh uh, kill him one shot. Who knows, right? Like I said, the wizard is just incre incredibly strong. We almost did. We almost did since we hit the mice bandit twice with the wizard. Um, let's see what he's gonna do because he is in trouble here. That's not gonna do much. Uh, I want to try to kill off his mice bandit, so let's see. This might not be able to do it, but I would like to hit the bump, the barbarian and then try to hit the mice bandit with the spiky ball. We did, and we actually poisoned the mice, uh, the barbarian too. So that was about twelve hundred damage. This should be game. This should be game. My striker's healthy. Yeah, that was not a that was not a good play. Not a good play. And unfortunately I cannot punish uh the barbarian greatly. I might be able to do this and hit it towards the striker. Nope. I literally blocked <laughs> the striker. Or moved the striker away thanks to the zombie. I mean, but still, we should win this. Yeah, this guy's not playing well at all. This guy is definitely not playing well at all. I mean sure we all made mistakes, but um I don't know what, what he was doing. He wasn't making good plays. And there you go. We won. And we also got an epic win. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Our first win of the day. And we actually have a uh, two win streaks. So one more win streak. And we will get um to... 234. Um, I mean, three win streaks. And we'll get plus 10 trophies for every win. Sorry. I'm trying to come up with words. And I'm just failing. Like I always do, you know. Uh, but let's see what deck are we gonna face now. Okie dokie, we're facing an assassin, so we have to worry about that. A smidge. Uh, my striker actually goes first. I honestly don't want to do this, but we'll just hit the barbar uh, the berserker, sorry, straight on with the wizard. As you can see, the wizard did about 750 damage to the berserker one hit. And it was 30% less damage. So imagine if it was, you know, 100%, you know? Or, um, not 100%, but, um, no, no damage reduction. Let's see if we can poison this Mice Bandit. We don't need that Mice Bandit there. Yes, we were actually able to poison the Mice Bandit, plus hit him with the Striker. The Wizard did a thousand damage to the Barbarian one hit. Like, can, do you see that? Like, I did not expect the... The wizard to be that strong, and he really is strong. Oh, he is gonna hit up Naga towards the assassin unless he misses this. No, he got it. He got it. He got it. Uh, I have a chance to poison, but um, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Actually, actually, I do have an idea. We'll just hit the berserker towards the Naga. We'll just do that. And wow, if that zombie would have hit the mice bandit, it would have been you know death for the mice bandit. 
my wizard actually goes next, which I'm actually very curious on what we're gonna do here. And it seems like we cannot do much. We'll actually hit the striker, and the wizard should hit the barbarian regardless. It did. And we also hit the, um, we actually also hit the assassin. Thanks to the, well, not the assassin, but... You know, we hit the assassin. The assassin's almost dead, so that's what I'm trying to say. The wizard just died, sadly. Uh, we have to kill off his berserker or else we're toast. We should be able to hit the berserker over here. This should be about 900 damage. I don't know. I, I haven't checked how much health he has. Oh, that will hit to the barbarian. The berserker's still alive. Wow. The berserker is still alive. The zombie is full, fully, full health, though, so we still have a chance here. My striker just died. It's the Berserker. The Berserker still needs one hit to die. It is the Assassin's turn, so we don't have to worry about, you know, the, the Assassin's shenanigans, you know? Um, we do have to kill off the Berserker, or else he can make a comeback here, man. He can make a comeback here. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna waste, waste a turn to just make sure that... The Berserker's dead, because the Berserker was doing 900 damage. Yeah, he knows that he surrendered. Okay. So we got this. We got another win in the bag. We got three win streaks, so let's go. Is the Wizard a good addition? It seems like it. Like, we are winning. We are in the third win streak. We got 40 trophies. Look at that. 40 trophies. We're about to get to 3,400, which... At the beginning of the season, we, I, we did reach there, and then we just failed miserably so that's why that's another reason why i decided to put the wizard in instead of the barbarian and see if it if it's actually a good addition and it seems like it is it seems like it is okay so my spended warrior archer goblin okay hopefully my my zombie goes first hopefully now my naga goes first he says good luck that means i good luck to him because my spended did do a pretty decent amount of damage to three troops man Okay, so he says thanks. Uh, uh, I honestly don't know what to do. I'm in an awkward position here. I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna hit the warrior, maybe even the mice spend it, unless I hit the spiky ball by mistake. We actually double hit the warrior, so it wasn't too bad. The archer goes next, and it's being blocked by the mice spend it, so he has to rely on bouncing off the wall. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So let's try to hit the archer to poison, you know, by hitting it towards the zombie. And we did. The archer is actually dead. Woo! Yeah, he, he is surprised by that. He says, well played, I'll, I'll give him the thanks. Let's see what he does with that mice bandit. Okay, so three hits. Not not too bad, not too bad. Um, I would like to poison the warrior and the goblin. We might be able to hit the warrior towards the Naga, if if we do this right. So let's do this. Yes, we were actually able to hit the um, the warrior towards the Naga. The goblin goes next, and he's actually being blocked by that spiky ball. So we're doing pretty good. He was able to hit the goblin, however, uh, the zombie, however, sorry. Keep mixing up the names. My wizard goes next. The wizard does shine when there's troops together, but since they're not together... I can only punish one troop at a time. Let's see if I can hit the mice bandit twice. I was actually able to hit the mice bandit twice. That was big. That was about 1300 damage, two hits, man. Uh, we should definitely take out the uh, the warrior. We don't want we don't want my, my troops getting low health and then just you know they're they dying by one hit when they get low health, you know. Um. He just killed the wizard, didn't he? No, he killed off the Naga, and the wizard is still alive, but barely. This is not looking too good now, man. Not looking too good now. And, like, fortunately, I cannot do much here. Maybe I can punish the goblin. Maybe. Yes, the goblin did get hit. The goblin is still alive. The mice bandit is hang. All, all three of them are barely hanging on. Let's see. Let's see if we can punish um, the mice bandit by poisoning it. Never mind. He just killed off the um. Just killed off the zombie. Um, it doesn't seem like we're gonna win now. 
So my wizard goes next. We could try to do this. Take out the warrior. Make it bounce back and hopefully hit the goblin and the mice bandit. Ah, oh, no, they're together. They're together. We lost this one. They're together. If they were separated, I have a chance, but no, since they got stuck together, we're definitely going to lose this one. That was a horrible play. I should have tried to hit the mice bandit instead of the goblin. That was a bad, bad, bad game on my part. I'll just, I'll just give him the happy face, though. So. Um, but yeah, that wasn't, that was a bad play. Uh, I, I, I probably could have done something different, but, uh, I guess I made a mistake. I didn't want the warrior to be alive because my troops were one health, or one hit away from the warrior, and that still didn't work out. I did try, but hey, we are, we are doing pretty good. We are two, we got two wins, one loss. That's totally fine. Uh, let's see, my wizard actually goes first. Um, usually with the wizard going first, it's actually very good. Um, let's see if we can double hit the Banshee, plus hitting the Barbarian. Hopefully we can hit the Barbarian. Now we, we failed to hit the Barbarian, but the Banshee got so much damage, like... The Banshee just got about 1400 damage. Unfortunately, the Yeti will get the speed buff. And Yeti getting speed buff is just incredibly dangerous. We can probably kill off the Mice Bandit here, if we do this right. Let's see if we can kill off his Mice Bandit. We just did, yeah. We kill off his Mice Bandit, so one of his main threats is dead. That's really good. His Yeti is very dangerous now because that speed buff. Ooh, okay, so the Naga did receive a good amount of damage thanks to the Yeti's ability. My turn to poison, however, I cannot poison all of them. I can only poison one of them, sadly. So we'll just do that. Only hitting the Barbarian, which is sad, but... Ah, he just killed off my wizard. That's bad, man. That's bad. We could try to kill off his Barbarian, really. We could try to do that. Or at least deal all, uh, a lot of damage here. It might be death. Not death. And wow, the spiky ball did not even hit the Yeti for some additional damage, oh well. Um, he's gonna hit the Striker, hitting the zombie as well, so not too shabby on his part. Uh, we could try to hit the Barbarian again. Yeah. We actually hit the Banshee, not the Barbarian, wow. Um, the Banshee is barely alive. Uh, we might not win this one either, especially with the Yeti being full health. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Yep, yeah, that was... That was very bad. We're gonna lose this one as well. Man, this sucks, man. This sucks. We were doing so well, and now we're just back at it. See, so it's like 50-50, man. Like, we... I don't know what it is, but we're just doing 50-50 here. I should have... I guess I should have tried to take out the Yeti. That was my mistake, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he got that. He got that one hit. Oh man, so two losses, two, two, two wins, like it's 50-50 right now, and we're probably back to where we started, are we? Kind of, we're kind of back to where we started. Oh man, this is not good, not good. Not good at all, let's see what we're gonna face, okay. So Mike spent it in Bomber, very dangerous. The the Yeti does not have the um the Banshee with him, so I'm happy about that. I guess we'll push the wizard up there and just deal some damage. <laughs> Dude, the wizard. The wizard was clutch there, man. And he just died. <laughs> oh no, the wizard is actually still alive. Wow. Uh, unfortunately I cannot poison much, so I I'm just gonna poison the Mice Bandit and hit the Treant with the Naga. That's pretty much all I could could have done there. Now my wizard's gonna die. Will he? Like, what is he trying to do here? Yeah, he just killed off. Oh, don't. He just hit the Naga. Very uh, or hit the zombie. Very well played right there. I could try to poison his Yeti and maybe the bomber if I do this right, because my striker is still full health. Yes, I felt it to poison the bomber though. Um, but my striker is still healthy, so we can punish his, you know, his troops with the striker. Okay, that was kind of close. 
My, uh, my Naga is actually still alive, somehow. Um, we gotta try to deal as much damage as we can to these guys. Especially the bomber. The bomber is dangerous. If we can double hit the bomber, that would be nice. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see. Yes, and we headed towards the Naga. Okay, the bomber's the bomber's dead. Or the Naga's dead, sorry. I mean, the Naga is gonna die, but the bomber did die. So I'm happy about that. Uh, hopefully my striker survived this. He did survive it. He did not make a good play there. Now we have to take out his, um, his Mice Bandit for sure. And now we, if we do this right, we might actually take out his, um, his Yeti as well. Or even hit the Treant. We did hit the Yeti with the spiky ball. Liking that, liking that. The Yeti will die next turn no matter what, so we're gonna focus on the Treant. Uh, do not double, do not double hit, please. Uh... We, we should win this one. We should definitely win that one, right? Is that enough? Yeah, that was enough. Okay, so we won our third game. Or... Fifth game we won. Okay, so... We're getting back on track. We're going up again. The wizard is not bad. It really is not bad. It's just... The wizard kind of has low health. 2700 compared to Barbarian's 3200. But the wizard's splash damage is just so good. For now. Like... For now, it's doing okay, my deck. My wizard actually goes first. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna, what, what we can do here, in our first play. The bomber only hitting the. Okay. Oh gosh, really? So we're able to do that, huh? So let's see if we can hit the uh, the goblin and the um, the treant. Dude, look at that, man! The treant received twenty one hundred damage, and the goblin received how much? About 1800 damage, man. Like, it's super good. Hopefully... Oh, he is... The Mice Man is gonna go... He failed. Actually, well, he did take out the, um... He did take out the Striker, but I don't think that was his intention. Highly doubt that was in, uh, his intention. Let's try to poison the Bomber and the Goblin. We're gonna try to do that. We actually missed the Poison. Instead, we hit the Bomber with the Naga. And the Spiky Ball. And we hit the wiz uh the trium with the wizard, which I guess it wasn't a terrible play, but not what I wanted to do. I want to start the poison, you know? He's gonna hit the Naga and the Wizard. He's just going for the wizard. He actually hit the Naga as well. Well played there. Well played. So now we can do the poisons. So let's hit the bomber. We should be able to poison the, the goblin as well, and the the treant might get moved and hit my Naga. We failed to hit the train with the Naga, man. He, and he did get pushed. He did get pushed. Okay, so my wizard goes next, which is good because we can punish his Mice Bandit since he is still full health. We can definitely punish the Mice Bandit unless he takes it out right now. He failed to hit the wizard, thankfully. So let's try to double hit the, um, the Mice Bandit and this should be a game changer. Dude, look at the Mice Bandit's health. Dude, 2300 damage to the Mice Bandit. Let's go, man. The Mice Bandit just needs one hit from anybody. He just took out my Bomber. My Bomber, he just took out my Naga. I keep mixing up the names. I do apologize. I keep, I definitely keep mixing up the names. Let's try to double hit the Bomber, and we sh also should be able to hit the Mice Bandit. We should not miss. There you go. We actually double hit the bomber like we did. Okay, so the bomber... Let's see, the bomber... If he fails to take me out right now, he loses no matter what. So hopefully... Yep, he did fail. Okay, so another win. There you go. We won. Whew, we... Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad with the wizard. We're doing pretty good. So... I think we do have the orb slots filled. 25 trophies, that's really good. Um, where are we right now? Okay, 3377, that's actually pretty good. We're gonna open this orb. So, I'll be right back after the ad slots finish. We are back, 3377, one more win so we can get to 3400. Hopefully we can do it, fingers crossed. And, uh, let's see, let's see what we're gonna face. Okay, so this guy has a wizard of his own. Okay, we can handle it. 
Um, striker goes first. Not the greatest start. I can use the zombie to. I can push the zombie to poison. Not anymore. Okay. I mean, technically, I, I still can to hit uh, to poison the mice bandit, but it's not ideal. But I will I will poison the mice bandit. Sorry about the lag, guys. I do apologize about the lag. Let's see what he does with the mice bandit. Okay, wow, the spiky ball is actually blocking to poison all three of them, dude. How lucky can this guy get, man? So I'm just gonna hit the spiky ball and just poison the barbarian. They did get hit, the, the wizard did get hit three times, so I'll take that. The wizard will hit the striker. Hit the naga as well. Okay. Uh, we'll hit the mice bandit with the wizard. We should also be able to hit the barbarian and also with the splash damage hit the warrior. Splash damage is just so good. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. 450 to the warrior. The warrior did not even get touched. It's so good. Uh, so he's gonna take out the naga for sure. If he does this right, he'll take out the Naga. He did. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, slow down. Slow down, sir. Slow down. Slow down now. Uh, we could try to poison the warrior and the wizard. Don't think that this is going to work, though. It did. Wow. And wow, we actually did damage to the uh, mice bandit. Okay, so now we have a chance. We have a We have a game here. We have a game. No, not the striker! Oh, no, that's GG! Wow, this guy got super, super lucky, man. Like, come on, dude, I had it, I had it. I had it, man. I had it. <laughs> we didn't even get one kill in that game, that's so sad. <laughs> so sad. But, what can you do, man? It is technically still the 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 the, uh, the beginning of the season, so we got some pl some good players around here. Look at this! This guy's actually at 35, 26. This would be a good win if we do win this one. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the cultist down to hit my uh, wizard. Nope, I failed to do so. My aim is not the greatest when I have to make bank shots, you know, or hitting or hitting troops uh, on the walls and stuff. Um, so, but let's see what he's gonna do with that goblin. He's actually gonna use the barbarian to get some damage. Only, oh, okay, two hits. Um, so we can definitely poison the barbarian and maybe even the cultist if I do this right. And we we should also be able to, um, hit the barbarian towards my striker. And wow, we actually hit the cultist towards the naga. That was big. That was a big play. Uh, my wizard goes next. We can do some splash damage. Let's see what he was. What is he gonna do with his cultist though? Seems like he's gonna hit the wizard towards the goblin. Seems like, or just double hit the wizard. Double hitting the wizard. My naga just took massive damage, almost dying. What? I could try to poison, but I feel like the splashing would be better. So let's do this. Let's just deal some splash damage. Look at the warrior, man. The warrior just took almost lethal damage right there for just by three hits. So let's see what he's gonna do with that barbarian. Gonna hit both of those guys, understandable. Somehow hitting him for almost for almost death. Let's just hit both of these guys. Maybe we can hit the goblin again. We did hit the goblin again. Cultus is dead. We did deal a little bit of damage to the warrior thanks to the wizard splash damage. All th three of his troops are low health, so we have a chance. We just gotta see if we can find a way to win this. The Naga died thanks to thanks to the spiky ball, and that that was lucky, lucky on his part. Uh, we could hit the um, we can do this, and maybe we can hit the um, the the warrior with the striker. The warrior is actually still alive. What? I was not expecting that. How much health does the goblin have? 500, so... I will need to hit the goblin twice. 
Oof. Oof. Okay, okay. How much health does the strike uh striker have? Oof. We should probably take out the We should probably take out the war the warrior first. And hopefully my troops can will be separated. Kind of. They're kind of separated. He has to worry about the striker. Let's see what he's gonna do here to take out my troops. Because he needs to hit. That was super close, man. That was super close. Unfortunately, the spiky ball is blocking me. But maybe two hits will finish it off. If I can get a double hit on it. I was actually able to hit him three times with the spiky ball. Wow. Okay. I think I shouldn't have won that one. Uh, that should have that should have been a double hit, not a triple hit, in my opinion. Like I shouldn't have won that. I, my opinion, I shouldn't have won that. We actually uh, we actually finished the the quest for the day, so let's claim this and let's claim that. Hooray for gems! We're getting back the gems, and we got the orb slots filled. So let me open this orb. So I'll be right back after the outfit. We are back. Thirty three eighty five. Just one more win. We'll get to thirty four hundred. Fingers crossed that we can do so with having the wizard in the deck. We'll see though. We might face someone that'll that'll just just take me out super easily. But we'll see. Train assassin with the Banshee and Yeti. Okay, so we got two combos and one deck. So we should worry a little bit. And this guy actually has a good starting hand because he has his assassin ready to deal some damage. So I actually have to push the assassin out of the way so that he does not use the assassin. He okay. The spiky ball is kind of blocking, but he can still hit the striker with, with the assassin, sadly. And, wow, okay, he just dealt... He almost just killed off my, um... My zombie. Somehow. Just, wow. I guess we'll just hit the, the assassin straight up. Poisoning the assassin as well. Um... He might actually take out the zombie here, so, so I'm poison his troops. And uh, deals some damage to the wizard. Also dealing double damage to the Naga. Somehow, man. Somehow th this guy's making the place right now. Um... Like, I would like to hit the... I would like to hit the Yeti towards the, um, the wizard. So the wizard can just create explosions. So I'm actually going to leave the assassin alive. And hopefully we can just create some explosions here. Thank goodness I did that. That was huge. That was super huge. With leaving, leaving the assassin alive so we can do that, that was pretty big. My wizard may die here though. Oh. 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 oh, oh, oh. What is he gonna do here? Okay, my wizard did die. Okay. My wizard did, did die. That's fine. His assassin will die next turn no matter what. We can actually hit the Yeti. The Banshee should actually hit the Naga. We missed! What? We missed the Banshee, man. Even with the spiky ball, we missed We missed the Banshee. That was... That's sad. We still have a chance. We just need to keep the Naga alive. The Naga is the one that is dealing the most damage thanks to her ability. Do not double hit! You almost hit the, the Naga. That would have been a bad, bad, bad loss. Uh, wow, okay, so this... I might be able to... I might be able to hit the Banshee by doing this. We missed the Banshee again, man. I keep making fatal mistakes here. Whew, how much health does the Banshee have? The Banshee can actually survive two hits from the Naga. Do not... Oh my gosh, really? Really? Really, dude. My gosh. Double hitting the, the Banshee is not going to be enough. I didn't even double hit the Banshee. What? How did that happen? How did I miss the double hit, man? Yeah, there's no way we're going to win this one now. He gets the double hit on me? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, how did I miss that double hit? Can, can someone explain to me how did I miss that double hit? That doesn't make sense, you know? That doesn't make sense, like... He literally just did the same play as I did, and he actually got the double hit and not me. Can someone explain that? Like, for me, it doesn't make sense. Oh well, 3351. It seems like we are, we're struggling with the wizard, but... 
I mean, we we would be struggling with the Barbarian as well, I think. I think. The Wizard went first, and even as a level 18, this guy did a decent amount of damage. We can poison his Mice Bandit and his Goblin, if we do this right. We can poison his Goblin. Yes, we actually got the Goblin, okay. So both troops are poisoned, so we're off to a decent start here. We can use the Striker to probably kill off his Goblin or the Mice Bandit. Unless, you know, I see an opportunity here. He just killed my... <laughs> he just killed off my wizard. Oh uh, man. We could try to kill off his goblin right here. If we can find a way to double hit the goblin, thanks to the spiky ball. Yep, his goblin is dead. You kill off my, my wizard, I'll kill off your goblin. So come on. Come on, bring it on, man. I got you, I got you. Ooh, my wizard though. Oh, I mean my striker though. That was a well played. Uh, we could definitely double hit the um. If I fail this double hit, I'm gonna be mad. But we'll try to double hit the mice bandit. Yep, and let's hit the wizard as well. Okay, that was good. That was good. Now he is definitely gonna hit. I think the striker first, and then the naga. Because oh, he's gonna try to double hit the naga. He missed. You should try to go for the striker first. Uh, let's let's hit the warrior so we can start po uh, getting some poison damage. We also hit the war uh, the warrior thanks to the striker. So that was pretty good. My striker will oh he is gonna go for the damage here. What just happened? What what just happened? Can someone explain to me what just happened? Like, what was that play? What was that play? So I can kill off the warrior in one hit, but I think it's too late. Yep. <laughs> what was that play with the wizard? Do you see the wizard there? What was that play? <laughs> we just lost 44 trophies too, wow. Uh, man. Uh, we're literally back to where we started. <laughs> <laughs> we were so close to 3400 and then we're just going downhill. Like, what is happening? What is happening? Like... What was that wizard? Like, what? Okay, so my striker goes first. Uh, I guess double hitting the, um, the Yeti. So I can deal, what, six, 700 damage? Oh, we also hit it towards the Naga. That was 1300 damage. I'm happy with that. If he hits the Naga first and then the Striker... Oh, actually, he's gonna hit the Striker first and then the Naga so that the Yeti will go back. Wait, how did how did he hit the Naga? F what? That doesn't make sense. The Yeti should have went towards the Striker. You know? That that didn't make sense because he hit the Striker first and then the Naga, so it should have went back to the Striker. You know what I mean? Wow, my, my Wizard died. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is... Again, another tough game, but we did deal a lot of damage to his wizard and the um, his treant. So, and we got the um, the yeti and now the knight poisoned. So I'm happy with where we are right now. However, he may kill off the naga here, which he will. Seems like. Sadly, he did. Um, yeah, we're not doing well. We were, and now he just took out the Naga, which is one of my damaging, you know, units here. And he, we can deal damage to the Yeti, Treant, and even the Knight here. We, oh, actually, we did hit the Knight. Okay, the Wizard is blocked, which I am totally fine with. I'm actually happy with this. He may actually hit the the zombie though by bouncing off the Treant. He missed. Don't hit. Don't hit. Don't. Don't. You dare. Okay. So we can hit the hit the wizard plus we should be able to hit the tree. There you go. We also took out the um the Yeti thanks to the poison. The knight goes next. And he is actually kinda blocked again. Hopefully he doesn't hit the striker. He is trying to hit the striker. He knows that striker can change the game completely. Okay. So he did hit the striker, but not the way he wanted to. We might be able to double hit him by doing this. Double hit would be a game changer. Come on. Come on. Come on. That, that should be a double hit. 
Oh, triple hit, man. Let's go. That's death. Okay, there you go. Now we brought the game back. We brought the game back. Unless he takes me out right here somehow. There you go, guys. We won. Finally. After losing a couple of mas uh, matches, we finally took, took a win. And against a player that actually has more trophies than I do. So it's going to be 44 trophies, I'm guessing. 44 trophies? Yep. So we lost 44 trophies and we got the 44 trophies back. Okay, so we are literally going back and forth. Uh, I'll be right back after the or, uh, the advent. We are back. 3354. Let's continue on. Hopefully, um, we face someone that has a lot more trophies than I do. Ho and hopefully we can win at least 46 trophies here. So we can get to 3400 with the wizard. But we'll see. We were close uh, a couple of games ago and we just lost. But we'll see if we can beat this one. Hopefully my zombie goes first. My swagger goes first. Not the greatest play. My zombie actually goes last, which is horrible starting hand. Very bad, man. Let's see if we can actually hit the uh, the mice bandit towards the zombie, and the zombie can hit the um, the berserker. This might be a little bit too much to ask because the spiky ball is in the way. We did actually poison the mice bandit, but we failed to poison the berserker. My aim w was a little bit off, but we still managed to make to make a poison play, you know? Um, Archer goes next. He is probably going to deal a lot of damage thanks to the arrows, since they're close together, you know? Not really using the arrows, but the Naga did receive a whole bunch of damage thanks to the... Um, the, the Archer's damage is just incredibly high, man. Uh, let's hit the Berserker and we should be able to poison the Barbarian. We failed to hit, uh, to hit the Barbarian with the poison, or with the zombie. So that was a big mistake. I shouldn't have done that. He's gonna hit the, uh, my, or the wizard, which is not... That wasn't a big play. We can actually just deal a whole bunch of damage here, plus poisoning the Archer. We should be able to poison the Archer right here. We how did we miss the archer, dude? What? How did we fail to poison the archer? How are we making these mistakes? Wow. Okay. We're somehow making these fatal mistakes, dude. Um. We could definitely take out the archer here, unless I completely miss, like I'm doing right now, and hopefully taking out the um the mice bandit. Ooh, mice bandit! You can see her sword touching the mice bandit. Game, come on. What you mean? So we're definitely gonna lose the wizard and the striker. And we also just lost the uh, Naga. Why are we having so much trouble to reach um 3400, dude? It does not make sense. We're uh, we're struggling to get to 40, uh, 3400. Look at the poison, sure. My spend it died. But the barbarian's damage is just incredibly high now. Two hits and the and the zombie will die. So um We're struggling. We're definitely struggling. He's gonna fail the double hit. Oh, never mind. He's gonna try to double hit by bouncing off the wall. It did work. Wow. Um Again, um, every time I get so close to 3400, I just lose the, ne the next game no matter what. And I don't understand why that happens. Like, how is the matchmaking rigged? I'm calling it right now. It's rigged. I'm, ki I'm kidding. I mean, who knows? It might be. But I feel like it is because every time I get close, I just lose, you know? Uh, my zombie now goes first, of course it does, whenever I'm not close to 3400. We should be able to poison the sorceress, the archer, maybe even the golem. We were so close to poisoning the golem. Um, 3259, not... We'll win about 26 trophies, maybe, if we do win. We have to remember to try to take out this sorceress as quick as we can, so that my troops doesn't get enchanted. So hopefully we can do this. Sorceress is still alive. The archer goes next, though. The mice spending dice next will die next turn, so that's actually really good. 
Uh, my, will my zombie get um, enchanted here? It did not get enchanted, so we'll definitely take out the um, the sorcerers here. We should be able to deal damage to his archer. Yes, and there you go, hitting towards the striker as well. I mean, towards, yeah, hitting the archer with the striker. Um, leaving the golem alive at the last, you know, turn, it's, as, or as a last troop, is fine. Like, the golem does not do a lot of damage, so we can definitely handle this just fine. So we'll definitely take out the archer, because the archer is doing 600 damage, which is insanely high. And the golem is only doing 300. We should be able to win this. He surrendered, okay, this guy knows it. This guy knows it. So, 25 trophies, okay. Um, we should have a few more wins to go on, but um, should, we should open this one, yep. So I'll be right back after the ad. We are back, 3350, two more wins, or hopefully just two more wins. Unless this person has over 200 trophies more than I do, and we beat them, then that should be 50 trophies. Um, let's see what we're gonna face. So all commons. Goblin is dangerous. Barbarian can be dangerous. This guy actually has does have more trophies than I do, but it won't be enough to get us to 3,400 if we do win. So he's gonna double hit the Naga and hitting the zombie once. Okay. Um, let's see if we can um, hit the barbarian and hopefully hitting it towards the striker or the wizard. It hit both of them, and wow, we actually did a thousand damage to the Berserker. I did not plan that at all. My wizard goes next. This is actually very good. Not the greatest play that he was trying to do. Can we actually hit both of these guys? Let's actually hit the tree like this. And we should also be able to poison his, um, his goblin. Yes, look at that. Look at that, plus dealing 1100 damage, 1200 damage to the goblin. Like, come on, dude. He just took out the, the, the zombie, which is sad, but we should be okay. Um, okay, so my Berserker goes next. We can just deal crazy amount of damage here to the... Or, my Berserker goes next, and we should do insanely amount of damage to the Berserker. The Berserker actually died. Is the Barbarian gonna die next turn? 215, no. The, is, he won't die next turn unless I get one hit off of him. Do not touch the, uh, the wizard, thank you. Um, so let's hit the, the, the Barbarian and let's hopefully the ball hit somebody else. The, bar, the ball did not hit anybody. The Treant goes next, and he can give a damage buff to the Goblin, and that is going to be dangerous. He might actually take out the Striker. He did. My Wizard does go, does go next. Okay. Um, we got to double hit the Goblin. Double hit the Goblin and hit the Treant. Please. Please make this happen. Okay. So we did do that. My Naga can tank one hit. Oh my gosh, we actually need two hits on the train to win. My wizard will die, no matter what, uh, if he hits the, um... Oh, he's actually gonna go for the, um, the Naga. Don't, 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 oof. So I know what to do. We have to hit the wizard, uh, the train towards the ball. Or double hit him with the wizard. Um, can we do it? Honestly, I don't know. I'm a little worried. Let's see. Please. Yes, we were actually able to do that. Okay, we actually double hit the, the train with the wizard. Whew, so GG. Or we actually hit him with the ball. I actually do not know. So we got 40 trophies there. Okay, okay. And we got a win streak going on as well. So we are at 3390. Doing, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well now. Let's open this orb. So I'll be right back after the ad finish. And we are back. I think we're done with opening the ad. So if we win this one, we'll get to 3400. Plus we got the orb slots filled. So hopefully we can win this one. So we can also get to 3400. Plus we got a win streak going on. So one more win and we'll get plus 10 trophies. So hopefully this person doesn't have an amazing starting hand. He does. He's actually going to use the Sorceress instead to enchant my troops. Nope, he went back to use, to use the Assassin. 
almost killing off my zombie, man. And he just enchanted the art, uh, my Naga. Come on, dude. That's crazy. So let's hit the striker towards the assassin. We should not miss. And it should get poisoned. Yes. Okay. The assassin goes next. He actually might kill off my, uh, my zombie here. That would be... He will kill off the zombie, sadly. Wow, he did. Uh, come on, dude. Uh, we could take out his assassin right now. We should try to, at least. We don't want you know, the assassin's ability going crazy. Oh, wow, okay. We actually did a lot of damage to the Thunder Idol, so that was a good play. Good play. Uh, my Naga cannot punish his troops because nobody's enchanted, so... Um, we have to mostly rely on the wizard now. That was a good play on his part as well. Um, we could double hit the sorcerer, so maybe the spiky ball will hit the thunder idol. Please. We missed the spiky ball, but the sorceress did die, so the striker and the wizard are not enchanted, which is good. He is gonna go for the wizard, okay. Sorry about the lag, oof. Do apologize about that lag. Um, wow, we actually do have a chance of winning this one. I just hope that we do. So let's hit the Thunder Idol towards the Striker. We should not miss. This should not miss. Come on. Oh, did I miss a double hit? I missed a double hit. That was super close. We did deal a thousand damage to the, um, to the tree and those. It wasn't a total loss. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Uh, I honestly don't know if I should use the wizard or just the, um, the striker. I'll use the wizard since the wizard's splash is just incredibly strong. We actually did kill off his thunder idol and plus dealing 1100 damage to the treant. So, thumbs up. We should win this one. Gonna deal damage to this Naga. Also taking out the um, the wizard. That was a good play on his part. Um, I would like to double hit him, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I honestly don't know if, if this will be a double hit. Since the Treant is a heavy, heavy troop. The, hopefully it's a double hit. Yes, we actually was able to double hit. And now the Trian needs two hits from anybody, and we shall win. Oh my gosh, if I mess this up, I'm gonna be super, super mad. <laughs> this should be a double hit. Come on, let's make this double hit, and we'll win. Come on, this should be a double hit. Do not mess this up. Come on, Toon Mike, do not mess this up. Oh gosh. Yes, okay, we did it, okay. I was getting nervous, like my fingers was shaking because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna miss that. But there you go, guys, we won, we got a three, uh, three win streak again. 43 trophies, we are finally at 3,400 trophies using the wizard. Okay, so the wizard was a good addition. As you've seen, like the wizard splash is just crazy. And we we finally we finally reached 3,400. Super good about that. We're gonna continue to push in the ladder in the next video or whenever I make the next the next video of ladder pushing. Well, guys, huh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing Four videos. Yeah, um, I think I think the wizard is a good addition. Also, I'll continue to use the wizard and let's see how far we can get with the wizard and the ladder. And now also, let me know down in the comments below what other challenge decks you want me to do. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Doing challenge deck for you guys is a lot of fun. Well, guys, thanks again for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.